honor the bride by rising. Family and friends, welcome. Thank you for joining us on this special fall day to share in the celebration of the marriage of Ashley and Joe. It's significant you, that you, their family and friends, are here today. They feel very blessed to share the special times in their lives with you for the ideals, the understanding, and the mutual respect which they bring to their marriage all have the roots in the love, the friendship, and the guidance that you have shared with them. Now we also want to take just a moment to honor the memory of those who are not with us today. Ashley and Joe will now light a candle symbolizing that their spirit and light of those people we love are always here in our hearts. The marriage ceremony is a bold first step onto the path of committing your life together as husband and wife. First, it's a commitment to love and support each other through the ups and the downs and even those in between times. It's not only being there with the other, but for the other as well. It's also a commitment to communicate honestly, openly, and without fear or reservation to listen and to really hear what the other person is saying. It's a commitment to allow and strive for individual and mutual growth spiritually, intellectually, and emotionally. It's a commitment to respect and embrace each other, both in each other's strengths and faults. Through these commitments, you'll ensure true loving communication, sustainability, and growth. Because a marriage, after all, is like music. Both are playing different instruments and different parts. But as long as you're playing from the same sheet music, you can create something beautiful. Now, if you join your hands, I have a very important question to ask of you both today. It's important because after this time, you will say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. So Joe, we ask you first. Do you come now with an open heart to give your life and love to Ashley? I do. And Ashley, do you come now with an open heart to give your life and love to Joe? I do. Yeah. Now as your hands are joined, we're gonna do this one lovely unity ceremony. As you hold one another's hand, Find love in its pulse, 
and be sensitive to its flow and rhythm. Before each of you is a flute of glass beads and glass crystals. These separate colors each represent your separate lives and families and friends. As you're about to pour your unique colors into the center base, you symbolize the journey of your separate lives into one union, the beginning of your journey together in marriage. After this, a glass artisan will create a beautiful sculpture from these combined crystals, forming and forever joining them together. So as many of you know, Ashley and Joe are both accomplished musicians and teachers. Ashley being a vocalist and choral teacher, director, and Joe being a trumpet player and band director. They'd like to share the following quote with you. Love is like playing music. First you must learn to, to play by the rules then you must forget the rules and play from your heart. Ashley and Joe know that their love for music has been key, see what we did there? Okay. <laughs> in fostering their relationship. But they would also like to share a very classic reading from the Corinthians. It is classic for the universal truth that speaks. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful, is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. It endures and continues to grow. New knowledge and understanding may correct things we once believed, and hope changes as the hope for things are realized and then new things are hoped for. But love always remains in its fullness and continues to be built up stronger and stronger. So faith, hope, love, abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. As your hands are joined and all that's come before, you're about to make your vows and pledges each to the other, which is the essence of your being here. Because marriage does begin with the giving of words. It's an unconditional giving to join yourselves to an unknown future you must have faith in yourself to make these vows and faith in each other to keep them. You don't know the road yet, but you're committing yourself to the way. So Joe, you can look right into your bride's eyes and into her heart and say, I, Joe, take you, Ashley. I, Joe, take you, Ashley. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. Cherish and love you. Cherish and love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In times of plenty and times of need. I give you my heart, my soul. I give you my heart, my soul. My trust and my love. My trust and my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. Ashley, please say, I Ashley take you, Joe. I Ashley take you, Joe. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. Cherish and love you. Cherish and love you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In times of plenty. And in, times of need. and in times of need, I give you my heart, my soul, I give you my, heart my, soul. my trust and my love, my trust and my love. Now, and forever. now and forever. As you've expressed these beautiful vows to one another today, you've also chosen to exchange wedding rings as a visible sign of that pledge. The rings are symbols of the love, friendship, and faithfulness that you share. As circles, they have no beginning and no end. Can you open the box and take each other's rings? as you place the ring on your bride's left hand, please say, with this ring, with this ring I marry you, I marry you, and join my life with yours. And join my life with yours. Can I see that one? And you can take Joe's ring and place it on his left hand. There you go. And say, 
with this ring, I marry you and join my life with yours. We hold on to each other again. May God bless you with joy and strength as you journey through your life together, surrounded by the circle of your love. You know, this is the next chapter in your relationship. Over this next chapter, everyone who's gathered has so many good wishes to go to you, but it's a long established tradition the officiant get to go first on behalf of everyone here. So first, we wish for you a steadily deepening love, which grows in understanding and unselfishness. A measure of patience, especially as your lives continue to entwine. The ability to communicate, you may say from hurtful words or worse grudges nurtured in silence. A sense of humor that you may share laughter and good times with those that you love. A happy home where you find peace and strength and serenity. A sense of values that you may care for people more than possessions and for honor more than honors. In a hectic world, finding the gift of time. Time to enjoy and renew and rediscover the love that brings you together this day and every day. You know it's been said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with just one step. Today is a beautifully choreographed first step. The rest of your journey, that's going to be filled with twists and turns and exciting possibilities. So continue to hold on to one another, keep holding that friendship very tightly to one another, and always be each other's very best friend. May your new duet be filled with harmony, not dissonance, and your life's symphony. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and now. Having declared yourselves openly to one another by these exchanging of vows and rings, I say, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, but mostly by the power of your own love, you are now husband and wife. You may kiss your round.